Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about Proxmox networking. To be precise, it's going to be about the Linux features or Linux networking features inside of the Proxmox web interface and how to use them. So we're going to cover Linux bridges, Linux VLANs, and Linux bonds, and some of the different finite details about how to use them or where to find information about setting the correct nodes, or correct features, rather. With that, let's get to the presentation. All right, so you can see we're on a different demo system. That's just because we're not at the cluster right now, and one of the drives is active, so I decided to use a different system. But with that, let's look at how to create a Linux bridge today using one of these EN0 Ethernet ports that are available on this system. So you can see that I already have a couple of bridges here. So let's use this EN03 or EN03 to create a Linux bridge and see how it's done. All right, so we press Create Linux Bridge and we get a pop-up. Now on this pop-up, we can set up an IP address if we'd like to use this bridge for management or for cluster operations. Today, I'll be choosing not to apply an IP address here. You can also apply a gateway address. That means that this system will use this particular port to communicate with the outside internet for things like updates or to download VM images or even container images. Again, only one port on this Proxmox server or any Proxmox server or node can be used with, for a gateway. So since we already have a gateway applied for VMBR0, we cannot set up a gateway here. We will get an error message. We can also make this particular port or bridge VLAN aware. So that means that it will if VLANs are configured inside of our containers or inside of software, and maybe we're using PFSense or something, it will be VM aware, uh, VLAN aware, and it will forward accordingly. But today, to set up a basic bridge, all we need to do is enter the bridge port, ENO and 3 in my case. Now, your Ethernet ports may be called something different depending on your system. And that's due to how Linux identifies Ethernet ports based on the driver and then the number they come on after. So with that, we can also add a comment if say this bridge wanted to be a for say a cluster communications or something like that or where it points to in your network. Today I'll just put test so you can sh see where it goes and how it works. Now we can press create and we can see that our bridge has been created and all of the identifying information that is written to the ETC network interfaces file for our new bridge right here. Now the last step to begin using this bridge is just to hit apply configuration And now you can see that our bridge has turned to active yes along with the EN03 port. Now you want to make sure you connect an Ethernet cable to it, but I'm sure you know that. So let's look at how to create VLANs on Proxmox. This process is pretty simple, but unless you have an idea of what you're doing in the steps, it can be somewhat confusing. So here we're looking at a virtualized environment of Proxmox for this configuration. And we're looking at the default VMBR0 bridge. And the setup internet interface, or ethernet interface, sorry, that was set up from the installation. This is how your networking tab on your node would be configured when you have your default installation of Proxmox. Node network. All right, so to set up your Linux VLAN, we're going to select create and go to Linux VLAN. Now, 
Here, we need to enter first, to get rid of this red box, ENS18, or whatever the name of your interface is. Notice we can still have the VMBR0 here. We don't have to delete it first. Now, the name of this VLAN is VLAN, and then whatever the ID you want is. VLAN tag is actually grayed out, and the only way we can change the VLAN tag is to change the name. So VLAN1, VLAN2, VLAN4, and so forth. So we're going to do VLAN 1 right now. And we do not need to configure an IP address or a gateway for this VLAN. So we can hit Create now, and that creates a VLAN. And notice it appears above this bridge. Now this VLAN can be configured with an IP address and such, and used as if it was a port. But we can also use this VLAN as a bridge to communicate with other containers and VMs. So let's look at how to create the bridge on top of the VLAN. It's really quite easy. So we can create Linux bridge. Of course, VMBR1 appears. We can make this bridge VLAN aware, and then we can type VLAN and the ID of one. Now, if we were to give this bridge an IP address, that means that we could manage using the web interface and manage this server from there. And such with the gateway. If we give it a gateway IP address, this is the bridge or the VLAN bridge that your Proxmox server will use to communicate with the outside internet. Now, only one adapter can have a gateway address applied. So only one adapter will be used to communicate with the outside internet, unless it's bonded and we'll get into that later. But uh, some of my peers have suggested that you want to have different network connections for management. And that is a great idea. But in their videos, they configured IP addresses for all of their ports. I want to make you aware, if you configure an IP address for a port or a VLAN or a bridge, that port will show your interface. So just be aware. Either you need to block that for some reason using your firewall, or don't configure an IP address. It's up to you and however you set up your Proxmox server. But be aware of that. All right, so back from my rant and just finishing this. If you configure an IP address, that's up to you. But the, if a configured IP address, we'll show you a web interface. Then you can hit create. And to finish off this whole system and begin using your newly configured network interfaces or VLANs, just hit apply configuration. Yes. And now you can use VLANs with Proxmox. All right, tonight we're going to be taking a look at the last of three different Linux networking options available to us in our Proxmox web interface, the Linux bond. Now, the Linux bond is something that you may not end up being even able to use, or it's something that maybe you want to use but haven't been able to figure out how to use. Don't worry if you don't have the required hardware. You might not, and a lot of budget setups don't. That's fine. Just make it something to strive to one day to use in your home lab. Or maybe you'll decide you don't want to at all. That's fine too. Anyways, so to set up your Linux bond, you're going to first press create. Now know that when you're bonding network ports using a Linux bond in Proxmox, you need to have exact ports. So you shouldn't be using one port that's 10100 and one port that's a gigabit. It doesn't work. But now you can fill out an IP address if you so wish to create one on the bond. In most circumstances, we don't use an IP address in Proxmox or a gateway on the bond. 
And note that only one gateway should be used in a Proxmox. I believe only one gateway can be used on an interface, one interface, in Proxmox. Okay, so then we're going to enter ENS 19 in our case. And now, unlike firewall rules or other places where we make lists in Proxmox, the Linux bond, we're going to put a space, no comma, and enter our second Ethernet adapter, ENS 20. Now you may notice my Ethernet adapters are called ENS, and yours may not be. This is due to how Proxmox, or rather Linux, identifies the driver and other information being used for that particular Ethernet port. Don't worry about it. Now, here in modes, you're going to notice you have a list. Now, each one of these does something a little bit different, or something the same in a different way. This one in particular is link aggregation. I'm going to show you where to get some documentation on what each one of these does, as it's a little bit too long to go into depth on each one of these options in this video. So here, on the Proxmoxing, on the Proxmox networking tab in their wiki, network configuration, we can find a lot of information about Proxmox networking. And one of the things we can find here is Linux bond. Now under this Linux bond, we talk about what each one of these different modes do and how they're done. So if you need help choosing which one of these types of bonds you want to use, refer back to the Proxmox wiki under Proxmox networking. All right, so now we can press create and our Linux bond has been added. And right now we can view the configuration file for the new bond. But in order to begin using that bond with our network, we need to follow at least one more step, if not more. So the next thing we can do is we can go in here and add VLANs, just like we did when we added a VLAN earlier to one of our Ethernet ports, just treating bond as if it's an Ethernet port, because really at this point, that's all it is. We can also create a bridge, just like we did from the VLAN in an earlier part of this video. So here's our bridge. Again, we're not going to create an IP address on this bridge. Note that any bridge, bond, or VLAN having an, having an IP address will be able to communicate with your web interface unless your firewall rules are set otherwise. So our bridge, we're going to call VMBR1 today. And for our bridge port, we're going to enter instead of ENS 19 or ENS 20 or VLAN and a number, we're going to enter bond zero for the bond that we created here a second ago and hit create. Now, when we press apply configuration, we're able to now use our newly created bond with VLANs and, and VMs or with containers and VMs rather. And if we've created an IP address, we can also use that bond for web interface and management tactics. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it educational, and, are, have, and can begin using Linux bonds now. Have a good